Yeah, good to have you after earnings uh, this morning, Lotsman. Let me just start right off with your guidance, because you did get some uh, questions on the call about why not more? Why not have, in fact, increased your medium and long-term growth expectations, given where you see the business right now? And you said, well, I'm confident, but at the same time, don't want to get ahead of ourselves. What did you mean when you said don't want to get ahead of ourselves? Look, we've had a strong start. Um, Lysol Dettol, exceptional performance, strong hygiene sensitivity, um, you know, a tailwind with e-commerce, big growth, 60% growth in the first half of the year. Um, you know, we've had uh, good sales because of nesting at home and a couple of tailwinds, you know, with social distancing as well as with pantry unloading. The strategy is taking hold, the culture and purpose and flight of the company are taking hold. We're building the business for the long term. We're going to take some of the upside and reinvest it in the business. But taking up guidance at this point in time for the future in an era of real uncertainty feels a bit premature to me. So I just don't want to get us uh, out ahead of ourselves. We need to do the right thing and build the business for the long term. A lot of people focused, of course, on, as you point out, the, uh, the sale of products such as Lysol for, uh, for hygiene, for combating the virus. You've had partnerships, a new one announced with Delta. But I do wonder, there have been, you know, mounting studies of late Loxman that indicate that uh, it's not impossible to catch the virus from a surface, but it is highly unlikely. The primary, if not the really almost sole way that the virus actually is transmitted is through the air. Does that make you think perhaps a lot of this is hygiene theater and at some point it's going to come to an end? There's no question that uh, aerosol transmission is important. But it doesn't exclude the fact that there is, there is a chance for this to also transmit to the surface. Uh, we've seen that in various places. And so we fully think that uh, uh, this is something just staying hygienic, um, ensuring that you are practicing hygienic practices is, in fact, quite important. Uh, uh, sir, so you expect that? Oh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, David. Go ahead. Sorry, Jim, go ahead. Yeah, no, Jim, go ahead, please. Well, but I'm just, I wanted to thank you for sending me some airborne. They sent me a couple bottles of Airborne. I wonder whether those are the only two bottles. Have you gotten to the point where you can fulfill the demand of your products? Because I know when I see these arrangements you're making with airlines and uh, doing some terrific things to try to keep everybody uh, at peace, basically, I am concerned that you're out of product. Jim, we are investing heavily in ensuring that um, uh, our capacity goes up. In fact, We'd announced in February an expansion of two billion pounds of an investment in the business. We're taking that investment level up, including investment in additional capacity. If you look at the growth of Lysol in the U.S., it's grown over 70 percent. Uh, I don't think there's a lot of people who can really scale up supply in order to be a 70 percent growth in demand overnight. We are, in fact, making exactly those arrangements with a combination of co-packers as well as investments we are making in our lines in order to meet the demand, including the gummies that you like. Well, Laxman, that's, that's perfect. That's what we're worried about. I've been trying to figure about the, the extensions of what you can do uh, in terms of the Lysol brand and working with business. For instance, I have Otis tonight on Mad Money. I would love to see Otis partner with you because when I get in an elevator, it is one of the places I truly fear. Are there many places that need to partner with you in order to be able to figure out how to make people not nervous about doing something? Jim, our brands are a trust mark. And uh, some of the partners that, I, you know, that we've already announced have done independent studies. And consumers have told us that a brand like Lysol, a brand like Dettol, is, in fact, a trust mark for them. We're in conversations with many of these verticals that you mentioned. We've announced a few. We've been announcing, we will certainly announce more. But it's clearly exactly what you're saying. Consumers are anxious. They need a trust mark. Lysol and Dettol clearly are the best trust marks out there in the disinfection space.